Nittany Lions ready to go here on homecoming afternoon as they come in off an overtime loss to Michigan. Their only other loss of the season also was in overtime. They can ill afford their third Big Ten loss of the season and they try to get a win today against Northwestern. Had a valiant comeback attempt against Minnesota a week ago Thursday, but fell short. They dropped to two and five. Hi, Pam Ward along with Chris Spielman. And Chris's Penn State offense has been clicking. Why is that? Well, one thing is, is Zach Mills. And, and the difference from this year and last year is he's making great decisions. Obviously, he has great skills in throwing the football, great skills in running the football. Then on the ground, you have Larry Johnson. Watch Larry also on screen passes. He's a dangerous threat out of the backfield catching the football. Then Brian Johnson, that NFL body type receiver that most teams like to have. He's 6'2", and he catches the ball with his hands. Stay with the penalty, gets the first down. Mills, all the time in the world, the pocket finally collapses, and he takes advantage. Mills running for the first down is finally forced out of bounds near midfield. Three receivers to Stouse's left. Good rush, and they get him. That's Michael Haynes with his nine and a half sack of the season. Larry Johnson in motion. Larry Johnson right up the gut. And their leading rusher runs for a first down. Yeah, Mills out of wide receiver. Robinson at quarterback. Right, Michael Robinson now. Uh, the slash player. This is where he is most dangerous with his feet. And Michael Robinson runs for the first down. He's into Northwestern territory. Mills is back behind center. Now he's coming in motion. They fake it to him. And Mills off the fake completes it for a first down to Tony Johnson. Right, Robinson, even when he doesn't get the ball, is a threat just because he can be used as a decoy. He's now lined up wide right. And Mills goes to him. Robinson. He's only a year behind Johnson. He's a sophomore. But behind Mills, that's Larry Johnson breaking free inside the five and tackled just short of the goal line. Four-yard run. Give it to the fullback. Touchdown, Penn State, that's Sean McHugh. David Kimball in for another kickoff, and the guy who specializes in touchbacks isn't going to get one this time as it's kicked short to Jason Wright, and then Wright gives it up to Jeff Backus, and it works. Backus breaking free, and he is finally shoved out near midfield by Gerald Smith. Wisconsin trying to bounce back from the loss to Indiana. Staus under pressure gets it off to Wright, and Wright, nifty runner, gets it up close to the first down marker. In fact, it's on the 36. Staus, time, finds Roger Jordan. <laughs> And Jordan is up close to another first down. That Haynes is one aggressive guy. Stouse running away from the blitz, but he cannot get away from Gino Capone. Second sack of the day for Penn State at Air Force. This one is from 34 yards away. And they got a new holder in there. Bassney was a holder. Kunle Patrick is the holder as a flag flies. That kick is good, but we'll check out the penalty. Yeah, it might be Penn State offside. Coming from the linesman. That'd be a first down if it is. No. Nope. Wazalewski thought he had a 34-yard field goal on the board. It now goes back to 39 yards. And that kick is no good. So the illegal formation comes back to hurt Randy Walker's team. And it remains 7 0 Nittany Lions here. Second and three. Larry Johnson stopped in his tracks but gets away from pressure. Larry Johnson breaking free and he's finally tackled at the 16 0 1 run. Hughes stands in front of Larry Johnson, blocking for him. Johnson towards the end zone and he is in. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Third and eight for Stouts. Running away, and he doesn't get away. That's Gino Capone's second sack. <laughs> Out of the eye, Larry Johnson gets away from the first wood, couple of would-be tacklers, slips another one, and Johnson 
is finally pushed out of bounds at the 26-yard line. He's blocked. Mills, free on the left side, decides to throw it, and it's complete to Tony Johnson. What a play on the run. 16-yard gain. Here's Dave Ryan. Huge, huge game on ABC. Third and goal. Mills with the pass. Easy. Mike Lukak, the tight end, all by himself for six more. That, that is easy, and why? Because of Zach Mills' demeanor. He's so calm and cool when he handles the football. He makes everything look the same. That was a great bench, and now he's getting back into this game. Did not start today. Larry Johnson, Larry Johnson and more Larry Johnson. He's down to the 18. Give him 25 more yards. Ranks dead last in the country in rush defense, second to last in total D. Second and nine, Mills to Johnson. And Johnson's just carving up this Wildcat defense. It'll be first and goal, Matt Watson. Third and goal. Mills takes it in himself, or does he? Congregation near the goal line. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the congregation's about. Let's just give them a touchdown. That was in. And they eventually do. Remember again, Stouse is in for Brett Bazinet, who broke a bone in his leg last week. Stouse, oh, that's trouble. Throws it right to Penn State. It is intercepted by Brian Scott. Not a good decision that time, obviously, for Stouts. So Penn State gets it back. We're inside a minute. Larry Johnson. It has been a Larry Johnson half. Another first down. Here's Matt Wine. Mills looked at him briefly, but then came back to Larry Johnson underneath. Johnson into Northwestern Territory. Sophomore getting that left arm in there to knock it out. Mills for Johnson in the end zone, and Tony catches it for the score. Has expired here in the first half. Tony Johnson and Larry Johnson, the two brothers are together. They have been putting a hurting on Northwestern. Matchup next week against the Buckeyes. Third and two. And there is Larry Johnson. He's over the 200 yard mark and a whole lot more. Johnson with the stutter step. And he is pushed out of bounds by Braden Jones all the way down at the two yard Good job by Tony, great job by Larry, but Tony Johnson getting two knockdown blocks. Receivers blocking downfield equal big plays. Well, they marked him out at the six yard line. Still, that was a 60 yard gain. He is four away from tying the record. And Johnson takes it into the end zone. That's a new Penn State record and another Nittany Lions touchdown. To him, and then Mills with the throw to Tim Shaw. And the true freshman picks up a first down. That percentage is going up and up. Plenty of time. Robinson looking left corner, and that is picked off by Raheem Covington. Seven. Thank you, Matt. Gasparato with his seventh carry. Picks up another first down, getting into Wildcat territory. He's given up at least 40 points in a game this season. And Penn State doesn't look like they're done yet as Tim Shaw runs for yet another first down. Robinson pitching it to Gilmore. Can he get room around the right side? No, as he is pushed out short of the goal line last week to be Clemson. Fourth and goal, going for it, and another touchdown. This time it's Ricky Upton. His third carry of the season gets his first touchdown of the year and the second of his career. And this is a good old-fashioned buckle. Yeah. What an effort for Joe Paterno's club. They go to five and two, even their record to two and two in the Big Ten. And they go to Columbus next week to take on Ohio State.
Larry Johnson, a new single game record as he ran for 257 yards. Our final score, Penn State 49, Northwestern nothing. Coming up next, College Game Day now presented by Acura. For Dave Ryan and Chris Spielman, I'm Pam Ward.